this is your first time being named the team captain, I guess, at USC. What, what does that I mean, it feel means like a lot. to you? It means a lot coming from the locker room. I mean, the team voted, and I mean, it's a, it's just, it means a lot to me. Were you surprised? Did you expect it? Um, I mean, I didn't really expect to get it, and I, I wasn't surprised. It's just, I mean, it's a team thing. We have a tight locker room, so, I mean, it means a lot. How, how would you summarize what you guys did out there exactly today? Oh, yeah, it was just a mock game. Um, that way, next week, and Coach kind of said it best when we were kind of meeting before the game, is that, you know, obviously, we're not playing a real game. There's no fans or anything else. But that way, next week, all we can focus on is the game. You don't have to worry about how we walk down the locker room, what preparation's like, what you do, how you come out, who warms up at what time. That way, all you, you're not thinking, like, oh, when do I go out? When do I do this? All you're thinking about next week is I've already done it. Okay, now all I'm worried about is winning this game. And, and that's our main focus. What what changes you know next week when you guys get in to game prep? I mean, it's been camp, it's been this mock week. In your experience, because you guys have all been here long, how does it change when you get to Tuesday? Uh, we kind of the focus is more tunneled in towards the game. You know, we have a real game. We're not playing USC anymore, so you know everything counts and just just the studying and the preparation just gets real more serious and just we just focus up. Do you have a, a real? Hard depth chart now in terms of first, second, or is it still kind of? Um, yeah, I mean that's a lot more. Coach Shark touched on that a lot more. Um, but you know it's been the same guys in my opinion, just saying making plays. Um, Wideouts obviously have been you know Juju, Steve Mitchell, um, Darius have been you know making the three guys making a lot of plays, and it's awesome because DeQuan and Isaac made a lot of plays today too. So they're obviously going to contribute this year. And um, another guy, Christian Tober, has been working really hard too. You know he's, even though he's a walk on, he's been playing really well. I'm um, at the skill position, um, offensive line, you know, they're still moving guys around and they're still figuring that out. And then the running backs, we're just stacked right now. It's awesome. So um, I don't know really set depth chart. Coach Sark can touch more on that, but I know the same guys are continuing to make plays and staying consistent. You guys um, have all been in the program for a number of years. When you have guys coming in from JCs like um, Isaac and mm -hmm. Dequan, how, how do you help them adjust and, and how has their kind of transition been? How yeah, I think it's just the SC standard. I mean, it don't matter if you're a JC, freshman, whoever come in here, new coach. I think we just create a standard. The SC has one standard, one way to play, one way to prepare, and that's how we teach them. You get into this game weekend, so you've got, you know, you look at your first game, it's Arkansas State. It's not, you know, a power five kind of conference school. Does that, how does it resonate with you? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's every team's the same, whether it's, you know, whoever it may be. Um, we treat every game the same. Every, and, and we kind of preach this saying of, you know, like it's face as opponent. It doesn't matter who we're playing, what team is, what they're ranked, where they're at. It's the same USC football every week. You can't look over a team like Arkansas State, though. I mean, they might not get the credit that they deserve just because, you know, the conference they play in, but they have won their conference, I think, the last four or five years with four or five different coaches. So, I mean, they're a tough team. So they're going to come in and give us their best shot like every team's going to. But you got okay, so you guys are captains and you've been through that and you've been schooled in that. But you've got fresh you got a lot of freshmen, a lot of new players here who you're trying to indoctrinate in, into that. What do you guys do as captains to make sure that you know, the guys without that much experience look at that opponent and don't, you know, take it lightly? I mean, I think for the freshmen, every game, every team right now for them is the Patriots. Whoever. I mean, the, the, they're freshmen. They don't care who we're playing. They're coming out. They're excited. They could, we could be playing the Globe Trout. I don't know. I mean, anybody on a, in any sport, and they're excited to play, you know, playing the Coliseum. And um, our freshmen are great, man. I, mean, I, I can't speak defensively, but from what I've seen, you know, a little bit here and there, but um, offensively, they've been awesome. And it's been really cool that, you know, these guys don't have egos. You know, we normally get one or two guys come in here and think they're better than everybody else. Maybe you get a little, you know, their, their head's kind of blown up from everything. And every single guy that I've worked with or talked to that's a freshman are so humble and so hungry, and they just come out and work every day. And, um, you know, I, I, speaking for the rest of the captains, too, I, I have nothing to worry about, you know, with the freshman that's coming up next week, no matter who we were playing. These guys are, you know, well prepared and worked so hard this offseason. Max, uh, as recently as this past week, there's still some shuffling going on on the offensive line. It's pretty much every position except for yours at center. Where would, how would you describe the state of things as far as the offensive line goes right now? Have things stabilized, or do you think you guys are still figuring out and might be figuring it out for a little while? Uh, yeah, we're still figuring things out. Um, you should ask Coach Conley about that because he's our coach. And um, but right now we have about six or seven guys that I think can all play. They're all great players and um, they're all tough. They listen well, they communicate well, they block really well, they're fun to work with. So I trust all the guys and um, 
it's good to get work with all of them. Like in a scrimmage situation like this today, we were shuffling around a little bit. And uh, I think we had six or seven guys in today. Um, it was awesome to get work with them. So.